your unique story our global audience global one media hello and welcome to our series of interviews with decision makers and senior leaders of companies across the board to help you our viewers make informed and intelligent investment decisions i am munir barazi your business analyst and host and today i'm pleased to welcome eden schmorek the ceo of unit a company that creates and operates an interactive real-time 3d content platform unith is listed on the asx as unt hello eden Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Munir, thanks for having me. Uh, can you start by telling us about Unith and its vision and how it all started? Yes, definitely. So Unith is traded in the Australian Stock Exchange. And throughout the last 18 months, we have been developing a technology that can allow any business around the world to create digital humans bots that have a face or a, and a voice and are on a computer or in a mobile phone or on a tablet, anything digital, and to represent them with any clients or within. For example, if you have a, a bank and you want to communicate with your clients, you could replace your customer representatives with the digital human to communicate on clients on your behalf. Or if you're the same bank, you could have a digital colleague which onboards your new employees or does some sorts of training. And we are now develop developing a platform which we intend to launch in the end of 2023, in which every business could log in, sign up, and create their own digital human. Define what this digital human is going to look like, how, what is it going to carry, and upload a knowledge base, whether it's a file, a PDF, a Word document, a presentation. And with the power of GPT, actually, um, uh, this talking head, this digital human, would be able to know everything in that discipline and to walk a customer through a sales funnel or an employee for, through a, a, um, um, an onboarding funnel. And this is the technology that we are creating. Unit has history of, 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 uh, of a few years of communicating with users with uh, uh, premium subscription products. We still have a division here in Amsterdam um, that uh, creates and commercializes um, this product. This is a profitable division and most of the company's revenue is associated with this division. But we are undergoing through this development process in which uh, in the last two years, uh, management has been replaced and uh, the, the entire company has been practically replaced in order to rebuild this new technology vision. It's a fascinating concept, and I'm sure you have undergone a lot of testing uh, thus far. Can you perhaps tell us about the feedback you've received and also about your plans to scale this platform? Yes. So uh, just um, uh, over a week ago, we've exposed a roadmap towards uh, the finalization of the development of the platform. This is something that we have been building for over a year. We have an underlying technology which is proprietary and it is connected to a few of our older technologies. And uh, we are on an outlook towards the end of the year to commercialize it fully. But until now, we have got some very positive uh, responses from potential clients. And we've also uh, signed some clients in a few verticals. Uh, the most notable of uh, is one of the big five tech companies, um, an American conglomerate uh, that uses this technology. We've announced it um, a few months back, and now it is being deployed uh, within the organization. And we see not only a potential to, um, uh, to have a very significant uh, deal um, uh, that would grow um, on this front, but also what we are doing with them is, uh, is we, we can duplicate it across multiple organizations. So the responses that we're getting are actually very positive, um, but we know that we are developing a technology that is, isn't used in anywhere else. So we keep optimizing it to help it suit more and more clients, more and more verticals, and also to um, uh, help our clients to use it better for this to be more productive to them. Because in the in the end, what we do is we save businesses time. We save businesses employees to some extent. Or in what we do with the big tech company, we save businesses employees time. And we are proving this use case by using the software and by keep adapting it to where we see the demand is. 
And perhaps you could elaborate on that point exactly where you help employees and save their time, because I'm sure many people would be concerned about losing their jobs because of this technology. Perhaps you could address those concerns. So I believe in the modern age, it's not that we see that uh, employees are being redundant or fired because there is a machine that is a complete substitute to them. Each employee is like myself and you. We both work in a company. Uh, uh, we are uh, thinking minds and, and, and we have added value. Um, but sometimes we could spend hours of our days, or it depends on the discipline, uh, but a lot of time of our, of our uh, weekly um, time regime on explaining ideas or carrying information to others. And this is something that we can find ourselves, even me as a CEO, but any, uh, but, but any financial executive can do it in a big organization, to find themselves explaining the same ideas over and over. And this is where we fit in. Um, we fit in also in the world, let, let's take an insurance company. Insurance company has a, a call center in which everybody, uh, every new client that did an insurance needs to get a call and need his details to be picked up. This could be replaced by a digital human. Um, um, or the same with uh, inside our organization, um, I can find myself explaining uh, the, the vision of the company or, or, or going through some, some, or even doing these interviews. Uh, um, and this is something that could be replicated by a digital human. Maybe not this interview, not right now, but if the idea is more basic. And it, it, when we look on the, uh, the most, uh, let's call it a boring ideas that needs to be carried, um, uh, whether it's compliance or uh, regulations or terms of use or or, or uh, uh, finance uh, guidelines. These are things in which we can, instead of a chatbot or instead of just a website, or instead of the, the actual human that carries it, we can plug in a digital human that would do this for them. And that would allow the actual employee to be more productive uh, towards his time with the company. So in a way, it helps with the routine tasks, but it's it's us people who are still uh, doing the creative work, so to speak. And if you could also elaborate on how you're funding um, uh, the company right now and when you're going to scale it up further in the future, can you tell us about your capital structure? Yes, definitely. So um, we, we just uh, a month ago, um, or in the last uh, eight weeks, um, did um, a private placement, a capital raise, in which we raised, uh, it was an oversubscribed raise. We went between three and four, and we had a lot of demand, and we chose to take 4.5 um, million Australian dollars. There is an SPP, a share purchase plan, securities purchase plan, uh, that is now open, and it is, will be up to $500,000. Uh, to give an opportunity for existing shareholders to participate in the same terms of the capital raise as we uh, care a lot about our retail shareholders and we want to show them the sign of uh, working with them and going hand by hand uh, towards our vision. And uh, um, this this amount um, is uh, sufficient for us to develop the platform, to start the commercialization and uh, uh, to be in a very safe spot to take what we're doing now, uh, our vision, and and put it into uh, put it into the market and also uh, dive in and optimize it while we start commercializing it hand in hand with our existing subscription division in which we took some very aggressive moves in terms of changing the way that we work the way that we acquire and reach to new users in order to show growth in that division which is saying again profitable. So we are financially very uh, stable, definitely in these days of the market, uh, we're financially very stable and, and, and set uh, and, and with a very clear trajectory and a very clear plan of what is that we need to do. And this plan is uh, backed by uh, financials and it's completely funded. So obviously your investors see a lot of potential in the company. And uh, are there also any other updates or catalysts you could think of that could be of interest to investors? So I think the sphere that we're in, which is artificial intelligence and conversational AI, these are markets that by, um, and I, I welcome everybody that are listening or viewing this interview to go into our um, ASX page, Australian Stock Exchange uh, page and see our investors deck. Uh, we we cover the, the, the potential market caps or the market sizes that we're approaching and we're looking on markets that go up um, 
all the way to 100 billion Australian dollars. So even if this is a market that we uh, chunk, uh, take a take a one percent or a two percent chunk, this is a very compelling market cap. We have one. We're one of the only Australian uh, traded companies that are exposed um, to this entire. Uh, um, GPT uh, movement, which basically is conversational AI, uh, generative AI, um, on the edge of it, and um, and and we we give good exposure with a very strong team to that. Uh, the, the market is going to there. Businesses are are getting online more and more, so we're we're going into a trend um, which is only growing. Um, and we are um, having the right team to look into this technology that we're developing all the time and optimize it. Uh, towards a, a, a perfect market fit. Uh, so looking ahead, um, even in uh, economical turmoils, technology is still growing. Uh, you just need to be uh, well-funded and uh, well-positioned uh, for success. And this is what Unith is uh, right now after 18 months of rebuilding. Uh, this is a restructured company, a rebranded company. We're proud to be one. And uh, we feel confident to take it uh, towards success. Fascinating. So there is so much potential in so many markets. Um, Eden Schmorek, the CEO of Unith, thank you so much for sharing all of those insights and updates. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Munir, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.